What's up, family? Jared the Boss Man here. You're tuned into the Boss Man Show on AM 1010, AM 1430, 1055 The King. Get the King out at 105theking.com and the Boss Man Show at bossmanshow.com. Hit me up on Instagram, the Boss Man Show, Twitter at Boss Man Show, and Facebook, Boss Man Show. It's the Boss Man on your radio. Listen to the Boss Man Show with your host, JR, Saturdays at 9 a.m. right here on AM 1010, The King. What's up, good people? Bet Online is your number one source for all your betting needs. The latest odds, lines, and matchup reports for baseball boxing, golf, and more. Better Online continues to be the fastest and easiest way to place your wages, including live betting and your favorite casino and card games available to play right from your phone. Head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today and get in on the action. Remember to use your promo code BLEAV, B-L-E-A-V, for your 50% welcome bonus. On your first deposit, bet online when the game starts. BS3 Network, changing the way you watch TV. Yes, BS3 Network, changing the way you watch TV, covering content and hot topics from A to Z. Sports, music, society and culture, movie reviews, you name it, we have it. Check it out on bs3network.com or... Check us out on Roku, BS3 TV on Roku, as well as check out your favorite podcast on all podcast platforms or Spreaker.com backslash BS3 Network. You are now tuned to BS3 Network. It's my man, Coach Derek Mason. He's dying in the borough with MTSU, Conference USA. And I'm repping the blue and the blue for the day. True Blue Nation, yeah. baby. We in there. <laughs> it's my yeah, man, man. Derek Mason. What's up, Coach? Hey, man. Blue Raider Nation in the house, man. My man. Look, you, boss man, man, you've been doing your thing for a minute, man. And, you know, the only thing I can say to you, man, is, you know, all love and blessings to you, man, because you've been keeping it real for a minute. Brother, I appreciate that, Coach. Hey, Coach, I'm blow your mind, Coach. Going to year 15, man, of the Boss Man Show. <laughs> look, look, it, it's it's crazy because you know what? I I think this much, man. You you've been you've been blessed to have uh, many a coaches, many a people, man, man, who have you know man come through your show, and uh, you you've gained you know man such an audience like over the years, man. Impressive. Uh, you know, man, people have been on your show, man. But I think what you've been able to do, man, is just keep it authentic. You've been able to, you know, man, keep it, you know, man, where it needs to be, man. You keep your ear to the streets. You understand how fashion, music, sports, you know, all collide in this space, man, that we call, you know, my social media, man. And now what you're doing, man, is great thing. So it's good to see, you know, like somebody like yourself, man, continuing to to, to move the needle forward. And continue to evolve, Coach Mason, because, man, look, when I got started, it was nothing but radio was brick and mortar. I was on the area yeah. 2 in the morning, Coach Mason. <laughs> Me, the deer, and truckers. And that was digitalized yeah. podcasts. We got apps now. We got YouTube. We got Spotify. All this different stuff now. Like So I've had to see you follow yeah. these past 15 years and stay current and stay with, with the, the trends. And so I'm as blessed that the Lord gave me the ability to do this and still be right. my same self throughout all the changing environment of the media game. Well, that that's the thing, right? I mean, I think you 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 have to you have to be a true soldier to have staying power nowadays. You know, because what happens is this, you know, man, there's all these, you know, man, pop up 
uh, podcasts and, you know, man, man, people doing all these like shows and everybody's trying to drop into the same content. But I think, you know, man, it's about the person, you know, do you have an authentic personality, man? Can mm -hmm. you, can you get people, man, who, who, who believe in what you do, man, to come on your show and, and, and really, you know, man, give, give you, you know, man, the real, the real pieces and the real versions of themselves, man, that allow people to stay interested in what, in, in what's currently happening out there, you know, uh, like in the spaces, men that we occupy. And Cole Mason, you know these me on the beach, Coach. I keep it real. I ain't got no agenda. It's about you and your yeah. program. I ain't trying to get no gossip yeah. questions. It ain't transactional. Yeah. I'll, I'll support you whether you win or lose. I'm gonna be at your game supporting you, and you know that, Coach. Well, and that's what and that's what's been beautiful about our relationship, man. You know, our relationship, you know, man, it's been organic, man. It's been farm the table, right? Man, we grew it out the ground, man, and we've been we got it out the mud. And I think the 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 great thing about like me and you, we've both been able to stay authentic to ourselves. Yes, sir. Um, you know, where, where there, there's, there's always going to be good days and bad days in, 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 in the chosen profession. I think what you got to be able to do, man, is make sure, man, that, that, man, you learn, you grow, uh, man, you treat people the right way, man, and you continue to get better in the space that we in. And I think that's what me and you have done. And I'm thankful and blessed, you know, man, by the grace of God, man, I've been able to, you know, find my way, but we don't do anything by ourselves, man. We, we need help. We need help. No doubt. Coach, let me ask you, man, you kind of got into the media field yourself, doing the commentary. How was that for you, man, doing the commentary for SEC Network, brother? You know what? It, it, it was a blessing. You know, Commissioner Sankey um, and I had a great relationship, still have a great relationship, man. He's he's actually, you know, been following my career and, and you know, been gracious enough. You know, him, Will King, and that crew at the SEC – um, as well as, you know, coaches. I still got a a, a good, strong, you know, uh, coaching friend group uh, uh, in the SEC. You know, you, you see all these guys, man, and, and like behind the scenes, man, we, we fathers, man, we, we, we husbands, man, we, we're, we're people responsible for taking care of other people's kids. Right. And so I, I, I think uh, that's how the relationship grew. Um, you know, I was competitive in the SEC, but, you know, I mean, it wasn't about making enemies, man. At the end of the day, man, football is a gladiator sport, so you got to line up and play. But I think people respected the way I went about my business, you know, um, and, and and I think so much so that uh, when when the time came to for me to look at some other options, you know, um, and I had a I had a conversation with Commissioner Sankey, and I can't thank him enough. You know, uh, Greg Sankey was kind enough, uh, you know, to, like to reach out to ESPN and say, hey, look, I, I'd, I'd like to see if you guys would look at a guy like Derek Mason, you know, a coach who's been in the industry who, who I think can bring some value to to some of our games and what we do, uh, you know, because he understands the SEC. And so I had to go through a casting call just like everybody else, had to do an interview. Uh, I did it over in Charlotte, and um, it was amazing. Um, the SEC Network crew, uh, look, man, you can go through Doring and all, hey, Dari Noka, they they all good people, man. All good people and like treated me well. Dave Neal, um, the man who who who's a, a a legend in the game, you know, was who I had a chance to do TV with. I mean, everybody just welcomed me with open arms, man. And for as long as I was doing it, man, they 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 helped me grow. They challenged me to be better. Um, they they always gave me you know, man, feedback on things you can improve on. Which I you know, like being a coach, man, that's what we're about, man. We're about mm -hmm. to get better. Right, we're we're we we're, we're about that action and trying to get better. And that group, hey man, Taylor Davis, man, I can't I can't give her enough credit, um, you know, for for being a young sideline woman in this industry and doing what many have done before her, man, and and actually just asking for advice and you know what did I see? So between Dave and Taylor, man, they 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 gave me energy and. Uh, man, I I totally appreciate everything that the SEC Network, as well as the Disney parent company, like did for me, uh, like in my year away from the game, because they helped me be a better coach, a better person, better father, better commentator. Man, coach, you, I, I never missed your games, coach. I knew I knew I was learning something from you, man. Yeah, I, I said that's my guy. I got to listen to my guy, man. But well, learn something <laughs> from that brother today. <laughs> <laughs> Check I, you out. I, I enjoyed it, coach. And coach, man, for you, man. Uh, 
I'll tune in MTSU, man. Chris Massaro, a guy I've known for years, man, President McPhee. Uh, talk about this, the vision they, gave, they say they gave you about this program, what they're looking for now with the Red Nation. Uh, you come in there with, with your flair and your style, man, being who you are, man. So about this opportunity, man, how happy you are to be in the borough, still be in the Nashville area, in the borough, a place you know very, very well. Yeah, it, it, you know, with Chris uh, Massaro, R.A.D., and Dr. McPhee, you know, I mean, Dr. Dr. McPhee is Batman and Chris Massaro is Robin, right? They, 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 they're linked with this idea, man, of, of what they want to be, um, here in MTSU. And, um, they, they, they found a longtime coach, uh, you know, man, really, and Rick Stockstill, who did a tremendous job here at MTSU. Uh, but when they decided to move in a different direction, um, they, they were looking for somebody who understood, uh, not only the college landscape, man, but had some connection, you know, like to Middle Tennessee. And um, having faced Middle Tennessee and um, competed against these teams, these teams were competitive, man. I mean, they were really good, and they were they were they were talented. Uh, I mean, there's been a lot of uh, uh, like many an NFL player that's come through uh, like these walls here at MTSU, right? And um, I, I I felt. When I went into the interview, man, that they gave me their vision, I cast my vision, and what we saw was alignment. We felt like we were aligned in how we wanted to get there. Okay, I wanted, I didn't want more of, I wanted, uh, you know, same as everybody else. Because if I get same as everybody else, I feel like I can go ham. I, I feel like I, I can, I can, you know, like do, do uh, like what needs to be done in order to find ourselves, you know, man, playing for something special, right? And so, um. I've been in a place where, you know, I, I mean, I didn't have like as much and I was competitive. I feel like if I have just just as much, I can be more than competitive. I feel like I can be a champion. I feel like this place can be a champion. And I feel like when they put they put the resources into the athletic programs here in order for it to be successful. So for me right now, um, um, I've been casting that vision. We blue collar over here. You know, we get it out the mud. We work hard every day. Uh, not only like on the field, but off the field and in the community. And I think that was part of the vision that they bought into, that they understood to be true to who they are, having had 20 plus years of service with both uh, uh, Dr. McPhee and Chris Massaro here at MTSU. And Cole Mason, I'm looking forward to that performance center you got coming. I see them building out there in the parking lot out there when I come to basketball games, representing a man. Talk about how important that building is because getting enough for the student athletes is going to help you in recruiting as well, getting guys the facilities they need to feel comfortable enough to come down there and compete with you in Commerce USA and do big things down there. Yeah, well, it, it's it's already happening. You know, but people, for a long time, I can remember in like 2016 when MTSU, 2017, announced that they were building a new facility. It's one thing to announce that. It's another thing to do it, right? Mm. Uh, you, you, you know, when kids come and they see brick and mortar, you know, man, happening, that means, man, like prog progress has already started, you know, and the price of progress is is having to wait you know, for something unique and special. They put a lot of money, uh, a lot of resourcing, and a lot of thought into what this new facility is going to look like. This is going to be as good as anybody, uh, in, anybody's facility in Conference USA, and um, it's going to rival facilities. I mean, like, the same company that built this facility is the same company that did Auburn's. And so, man, if you've been down to Auburn at all and seen what their new facility looks like, man, it's, it's off the killer. chain. So. <laughs> I, I can't I can't wait to get into like the building. I know, man, that it gives us uh, an athletic recruiting advantage. It gives us a training advantage. It gives us um, everything that's modern about uh, you know, man, staying you know healthy uh, in in this game because this game is about recovery. This game is about you know everybody talks about like lifting and what you do. Well, when you lift, when you run, when you do these things, you break the body down. So you know you need a facility that's state of the art to be able to to keep up with the modern day uh, you know changes uh, of, of what happens in athletic performance. And I think this building um, does just that. So this building from top to bottom, from you know the 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 level of entertainment to uh the 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 level of training that that'll be done to the level of you know uh our football team being able to have um everything that we need from um uh, our meeting rooms to our team room to our to our breakout rooms i mean this football facility is state of the art from equipment to 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 just what we can do in terms of hosting and entertaining uh it will be a marvel here 
uh, in the Middle Tennessee area, uh, something that rivaled the Murphy Center when the Murphy Center was built over 50 years ago. No doubt, brother coach. And coach, man, it was also good about conference USA is expanding. Coach, you got Kennesaw off from right here in my backyard coming to the conference. You got the schools out in Texas, out west of the Mexico State there where that way, man. And talk us about the, the growth in Missouri State out of the valley coming in. Talk about the growth of conference USA. How's gonna help you recruit really USA even more with the, all the spots that this conference in, is in now to help find guys who fit the right field to be a part of this brand of pro program that you're building down there. Yeah, I think for me, I think what's been important is, you know, you have to have a blueprint plan of how you're going to recruit. And I think um, these programs in Conference USA, as 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 we've seen, you know, when teams go, I mean, come, uh, seen teams go, we've seen the realignment of Conference USA. Conference USA is as strong as it's ever been. Um, and, and, and I think it has to do with some of the coaches that are sitting at the top. When you talk about Jamie Chadwell, Liberty, you know, like in what, uh, you know, um, he's been able to do when you look at, you know, Tyson Helton and what he's done up at Western Kentucky. You know, when you get a chance to look at Rich Rod and how he's rejuvenated the Jacksonville State program. And then you 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 know and understand that you've got guys taking over programs, where, whether it's UTEP or whether, you know, like we look at like what's happening. Uh, you know, Jerry Kill leaves to go to like Vanderbilt, man. But but. But like when you look at like Sanchez, Sanchez, you know, was part of that staff. So he knows what it took to win at New Mexico State. Um, I just think some of these coaches sitting at the top of the programs, man, uh, have have invited or made it sexy, you know, like to be uh, like in Conference USA. They made it, you know, man, really attractive to come into this 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 conference that has, you know, man, guys who have sat you know, in, in, in power five programs who have done, you know, I mean, things at those programs to be, uh, you know, reckoned with. And now, you know, they're doing it in, in the, in, in the group of five and these programs, man, are going to be competitive. So I think it's a heavyweight league with heavyweight coaches sitting atop the programs. And what we have to do now is just continue to understand how we need to market conference USA so that conference USA can go get what's 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 coming to it because I believe, man, that we're in a space now when we talk about sports gambling, what's happening, you know, with everything that's going on with the realignment, that you know, Conference USA has a chance to be a, 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 a program to be reckoned with because teams don't want to see us. No doubt, and no doubt. And like I said, I'm I'm excited. I, I get to come and see, you know, Coach Bahana at Kennesaw State, you, Tyson up the road. So I get to see all y'all because y'all right up the road for me. So I'm looking forward to this, man. All y'all, my guys, the competition's going to be so, so sweet to see y'all compete against each other, man, and battle on Saturday, yeah. Saturdays. It's going to be fun to watch, Coach. Yeah, it, it, it will be. I think everybody, you know, I mean, we know we're in the South. We know SEC football is king, but I tell you what, don't sleep on Conference USA. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't, they, don't, they, don't they, do it. You don't better. Do you it. Be, hey, coach. They, 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 they like us, coach. They ain't like us. Coach, you say. They don't know about hey, us. Hey, hey, man. Hey, hey, not like us. And I'll they say don't this, know man. About we, us, they, coach. They, they, don't, they don't know about us, man, but they'll wake up soon and, you know, hey, it'll be like Nas made you look. No doubt. Hey, coach, you got a heck of a non con schedule, man. Tennessee Tech, Ole Miss. Duke and Memphis, talk about challenging your team early for getting that nice CUSA play, man. Because there's some four nice games that you you got to challenge yourself, man. Well, yeah, like we even had Western Kentucky in that deal early. I I, I think I think this much. I think we play West Kentucky game too. It, 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 it's or some somewhere in there. The thing I'll tell you is that it it it, it is a schedule uh, that's not for the faint of heart. My first year in Conference USA, man. They they like they like okay, we we going we gonna show you what we got, and then, uh, you you know, you talked about the top end of that schedule, man. But let's talk about when you get to the middle. You know, we play three games in fourteen days. You know, I mean that that's and and, and those are midweek games, and that's what Conference USA. That's what sets Conference USA apart, man. We're not afraid to do what others won't do. You know, we 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 we're not afraid to get into the middle of the season. Uh, man, man, and really get the people what they want during the middle of the week, right? Which, which, which is just some prime time football, seeing you know truly competitive teams in a competitive conference get down and 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 really you know like get the people what they want because people when you talk about college football season, man, people want to see it. 
No doubt, Coach. And Coach, man, it's Coach for you, man. Uh, How has the game changed for you over the years defensively, being a defensive guy, having to defend different concepts because some concepts have evolved. So for you, how have you evolved defensively to kind of keep up with, the, with what's going on offensively with all the new stuff we got going with different motions, split zones, and different mesh concepts? How about that, Coach Mason? Yeah, well, I, I spent, before I took this job, I mean, not only was I working at ESPN and studying the game and studying, uh, you know, offenses, man, but I was spending time with, uh, you know, guys like Brian Stewart, my defensive coordinator, and Leslie Frazier, uh, who 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 sat out, like, for a year as well, man. I and mean, he worked for the NFL Network, but we would get together on Wednesdays and Thursdays and and actually watch watch offensive concepts. We met with, uh, you know, with several NFL you know, O-line coaches just to talk about, okay, you know, uh, like the zone game and what are they doing with some of the, the the power read, zone read, you know, man, concepts in the run game and how the RPOs were coming off of that. And so I think I kept myself current by not just uh, watching games and in, 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 in broadcasting, but really just immersing myself, okay, man, in, in some of these offenses to look at what some of the top offenses were doing so that I could stay steady in my mind with how I saw defense. And here's the deal. I, I, I'm I'm not in the the room itself calling defensive plays, man, but I'm never going to be too far from, from, you know, like the thing that I love. But having a guy like Brian Stewart as my defensive coordinator, a guy that I play with, a guy that's been a defensive coordinator in the NFL, somebody who's been a secondary coach for 30-something years, uh, me, me, me and him see football uh, similar. Right. We, we we do. We've talked football over the years a lot. But now having a chance uh, to work with somebody who you respect, but has his football acumen is just as high as mine. And so, like, to me, um, I'm not trying to figure it out by myself, man. I'm 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 not the smartest guy in the room and I'm not trying to be. I just want to be in a room full of smart guys. And I think that's the staff I've assembled. That's how I kept myself fresh is is, is with you know hiring guys and putting guys around me man, that are way smarter than me. Coach, I got two more for you, Coach. One of them being, man, for you, Coach Mason, I know how much you love pointing the young men, uh, giving them you yourself, giving them your, your family. Talk about pointing the young men and having them come back to you, Coach Mason, and say, hey, I'm getting married. I got a new yeah. job. I'm going through it. I got a new business I'm opening up. How successful is it for you knowing that you play a role in these young men's lives and they hit you up to let you know how good they are doing in life thanks to being around you for four or five years? Man, I never got in it for the ball. I got in it, man, because football changed my life, right? You know, like some some people see this as a lucrative business. I mean, it's a business, man, but if we were, I, I, I've always felt like a calling and and, and a responsibility, um, you know, to, to try to help young men uh, be better young men, to try to give a better product back to parents than the one they drop off, because I know my coaches did that for me and my folks. So, you know, like in that space, man, it, 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 it is it is phenomenally rewarding, uh, man, man, to have dudes call you and saying that they're having their first child or to have coaches on your staff who have played for you, uh, who 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 have children and, and and who are giving back to the next generation to to see guys, man, who have gone into the profession because they said, man, you, you the, the the things that they learned, you know, help them to see guys become uh, whether whether they were professional players or professional people, you know, they, they, they were able to go on and find success because they felt like the journey that they had and the relationships that were built were genuine. That's man, that that's some money came by, right? That that's, that's that thing, man. You, you feel rich, man. And you don't, you don't, you don't have, uh, you know, a, a, a bank note, uh, uh, like to say that, but you got plenty of pictures and plenty of degrees and plenty of uh, dudes, you know, man, uh, sending you pictures of their them and their families and their successes. So to me, man, that that's that's the ultimate, uh, you know, like gift of grace that God's been able to give me, man, is just showing me, you know, um, um, through the years, you know, what it's looked like for these young men to find success. And Coach Mason, this is something I didn't know about you too recently, man. You love the DJ because this, I'm going to say, that was my first job, Coach Mason. I was the Friday night happy hour guy on the mic DJing. That was my, one of my first gigs in this business, Coach, was DJing Friday night happy hour playing all the old 80s and 90s R&B hits. That was one of my yeah. first gigs. And you love the DJ. So talk about that piece, man. Loving the DJ, loving to impress people about music, get them moving and grooving with music. Talk about that, man, because I was so worried about Coach Mason. I'm like, man, 
we had, I know we had, I had that in common too. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, look, I mean, same thing, man. DJ, DJ to college, you know, like had a, had a had a late night radio show, uh, you know, for a little bit, you know, like when I was in college, my junior year. Um, and and like music has always spoke to me, man. I I think, you know, it takes guys like us. Not only to understand music, because everybody can love music, man, but I love music in a different way. I think I think music gave me the soundtrack to my life. You know, mm-hmm. the things I was going through, man, I, I felt through the sounds. And it wasn't hip, it wasn't always hip hop. Sometimes it was Marvin Gaye and being able to listen to Smokey talk about what he talked about. So the same things that moved my parents probably moved me too, right? But then, you know, like this era of hip hop, man, just gave me like like a different sense of what 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 other people in the world were going through. So it connected East Coast to West Coast to 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 you know uh like neighborhoods and what and what we saw. But like to me, man, I mean I've got such a a vast um sort of catalog of music. You know, I I, I like country. I like I like rap. I like R and B, man. I like classical soul. I like I, I like it all. And I think what it does, man, it it it, it provides memories, man. Uh, it gives me an opportunity, man, to smooth out, you know, what I'm feeling. It makes me feel good about what I wear. It makes feel it makes me feel good about who I am, right? No because I, I I I think that's what music for for those of us who love music in a certain way. Um, that's what it does. It gravitates us. It levitates us to a place, uh, man, that's calm. Uh, you know, I'm mean, away from the chaos of the world sometimes and, and, and allows us to see that greatness can happen. A song, man, a one great song, one great song, man, can change, can change, uh, and, and elevate you and take you to a place, man, that's real calm and serene. And I think that's what music is for me, right? So I think music, uh, from music to fashion to, to sports, it's always been a connective culture, but maybe never more than the time that we're in. No doubt. And Coach Mace, you're going, this is going to blow your mind. My dad still has three record players. He used to play Percy Sledge, The Shy Lights, yeah, Leonard yeah. Star, Shallow Mar. Come on. <laughs> you know, all the yeah. Commodores, the Ozzy Brothers. So Marvin Gaye, the com- I grew up on these things. So my dad put in me with his, his record players on Saturday morning. And then yes. as a four-year-old yes. coach, my first tape was MC Hammer, you can't touch this. <laughs> With pumps and the bumps on it. That's what that was, <laughs> that was my first tape ever was MC yeah, Hammer. Man. You can't touch this. <laughs> but man, and, and that's really what I'm talking about. I mean, we grew up, man, on the Osley brothers, the Pointer Sisters, man. We listen to M to me, you know. I mean, just 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 so much, you know, like like good music being played in the house, right? I mean, and that's the one thing, like people. Like all the music is mastered now, so it sounds different, man. But it ain't nothing like hearing wax. Like when you hear wax, you know when when you hear the crack of that wax, man, you know what you're listening to because it may not be perfect, man. But gosh, man, it's so rich in tones and what it says to you. I mean, that's music to me. No doubt, Coach. With Coach Mason, man, look, we're gonna catch up with you, my brother. I hope to see you yeah. next week. When I'm in town next week, I'll be in town next week. I'll come by and see you, man. So it's a pleasure to get you on the show again, man. I'm gonna be supporting you. Know that, man. So yes. I'll be at them games for you, man. Change like oh, like I always have, my brother. Hey, hey, listen, do 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 me a favor. Uh, you know, you 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 make sure when you get to the borough, man, you come see me. I sure will, brother. All <laughs> right, much love. Take All care, right, my brother. God bless. Out. BS3 Network. Changing the way you watch TV. Yes, BS3 Network, changing the way you watch TV, covering content and hot topics from A to Z. Sports, music, society and culture, movie reviews, you name it, we have it. Check it out on bs3network.com or check us out on Roku, BS3 TV on Roku, as well as check out your favorite podcast on all podcast platforms or Spreaker.com backslash BS3 Network. You are now tuned to BS3 Network. What's up, good people? Bet Online is your number one source for all your betting needs. The latest odds, lines, and matchup reports for baseball, boxing, golf, and more. Bet Online continues to be the fastest and easiest way to place your wages, including live betting and your favorite casino and card games available to play right from your phone. 
head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today and get in on the action. Remember to use the promo code BLEAV, B-L-E-A-V, for your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet online when the game starts. What's up, family? Jared the Boss Man here. You're tuned into the Boss Man Show on AM 1010, AM 1430, 1055 The King. Get the king out at 105theking.com and the Boss Man Show at bossmanshow.com. Hit me up on Instagram, the Boss Man Show, Twitter at Boss Man Show, and Facebook, Boss Man Show. It's the Boss Man on your radio. Listen to the Boss Man Show with your host, JR, Saturdays at 9 a.m. right here on AM 1010, The King.